Hi, I'm Lance Henriksen. You're watching Brian Lomax's Movie Talk. Hello there, I'm Brian Lomax and welcome to another day of 31 Days of December, or 31 Days of Christmas, as I prefer to call it. Of course, I'm going through, I'm watching one Christmas film every day in December. Now, today I've watched Fred Claus. This isn't a film that I was particularly looking forward to. It was a film I stuck on the list just because it's one I've never seen. Uh, it's got a lot of actors in it that I really like. Elizabeth Banks, Paul Giamatti, Kevin Spacey. Um, yeah, I really liked this film. I wasn't expecting to, like I say. It actually, it got quite emotional for me, which I just, I wasn't expecting. Um, I love the message in this film, just the whole thing about actually there's no such thing as a bad child. They're made that way through a lack of love. Um, I, I, I love that message and the whole thing about not being commercial around Christmas time, the, the way they give one present to all the boys and one present to all the girls so they all get the same present and it's not about getting what you want it's not about making this big list and you get everything on it if you're if you're nice it's actually no you're you're thankful for what you receive i i, I love that message now the screenplay for this was written by dan fogelman yeah i, I love the ideas in it i love the themes that are explored and i i liked the characters vince vaughn obviously plays fred claus the brother of Saint Nick, or Santa Claus, who is played by Paul Giamatti, and they have a bit of a tenuous relationship, um, mainly because of Fred. Fred is a bit jealous of, of Nick and just kind of has, has pushed his family to one side. Anyway, he kind of has to get back in with them in order to get some money to get himself out of a tight spot. So he, he promises Nick that he'll work in Santa's workshop just to to get that money back um, but as he does obviously the family starts to come together start to resolve a few things and it becomes this family drama kind of thing um, now i think a lot of the criticism for this film is probably down to that element in that they probably weren't expecting a big family drama or, or that kind of film they wanted out and out comedy and i i think this film is funny in part but it's not laugh out loud funny i wouldn't call this a laugh out loud comedy but if you want to be touched, like if you if you if you want you know something that's, that's quite touching and and kind of gets you in the spirit of Christmas, I think this film does it. Uh, like I say, a really nice surprise. And Kevin Spacey is great in this. He's I mean he's great in everything he does, isn't he? It's Kevin Spacey, but he gives more than is required. I feel he comes in. He's basically the corporate villain. Uh, the typical kind of douchebag who wants to close down Christmas. But then we learn more about his character and we realise there's a reason for that. Like I say, going back to that theme that there's no such thing as a bad child, they're created that way by, by the parents who, who, who raise them, or the adults that, re, that raise them. As, it, as it's often said, it takes a village to raise a child. Um, now, I think this film shows us the truth of that in a really great way, a really touching way. Uh, so yeah, what grade do I give it? Now, I'm, I'm not saying this is a classic. I think just my expectations were so low because all the reviews I'd read personally were like one, two star reviews. So I'm going to give it a three and a half. Now, I'm tempted to give it a four because it did. Act, I, I did actually enjoy it that much. So there you go, Fred Claus, three and a half stars. Uh, who'd have thought it? But yeah, if you've seen the film, please comment below, let me know. And until tomorrow, when I'll be reviewing another Christmas film, thanks for watching.